623, we are back with some snakes and I'm gonna face it, I'm gonna do it. All right, so during the summer months, we're talking about noticing <laughs> some pests uh, coming out of the woodwork. So we actually want some of the snakes around. Josh M's Associate Certified Entomologist and the President of the New Mexico Herpetological Society. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it. Here we go. This, this snake doesn't bite, nope. right? Okay, and what's Unless the trick mouse. here to making? Just, just hold him and let him be comfortable. Is this a boy? Yep, okay. this is a male. <laughs> okay, uh, Okay. so you also have millipedes, and I'm I not do. gonna hold those. I just I do. I can't do that. I have three desert millipedes here. Um, if you've been anywhere on the west side at the volcanoes, um, these guys have been pretty prevalent. Yuck, those are gross. I'd um, rather hold the snake. These guys, they, they eat decaying vegetation. They're not like their centipede friends, which are venomous. Oh, okay, so we like um, those. Yeah, they're good. Okay. Um, I found, uh, we went out to the petroglyphs on Saturday night. We're hiking out there, and they were everywhere. I mean, every few feet, these guys were everywhere. Now, they're, like I said, they're completely harmless. You can see they're, they're crawling around on me. They're, they're doing Ew. absolutely just fine. Okay. <laughs> and there's another snake in here yes, who there is. was getting pretty rowdy. She wants out, right? Yeah. And there's a reason Colton's not here, by the way. <laughs> he can't even be in the studio. He left the room. <laughs> okay, and so this is a female. How this can you female. tell the difference? Um, well, if you look at the tail, um, it tapers off. Um, also, she's laid eggs for me, so oh, that's okay. another way you can tell. That's a surefire sign. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got them as a pair, and I've, I've bred them once, and they're good snakes. Um, these are Transpecos rat snake. This one is. Uh -huh. um, you can find it in southern New Mexico, um, and they're, they're very cool snakes. Do they like to be held, or are they angry um, at me they, right now? They, do, they either look at you as a, as a threat or as a, as a food item. Uh, um, so. Or nothing. So nothing is what okay. we're going for. Okay, and so if you see a snake, what, what do you do? What's um, the advice? Just leave it alone. I mean, they're, they're, they're free pest control for you. They'll, uh, they take care of a lot of the rodent On problems. On your property, though? Yeah. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to hurt you. Um, okay. And how can we tell, like you said, that these are constrictors, so they're not, right. they are not venomous. They're how not do you venomous. tell the difference? Um, the easiest way in the Albuquerque area is anything that has a rattle is venomous. Okay. Uh, the only venomous snakes we have in the Albuquerque area are rattlesnakes. Are rattlesnakes. So, and That's they'll, really they'll let you know. know. That's the nice thing about rattlesnakes. They'll let you know. Okay. What website can people go for more information? Do you have um, You can go to the nmherpsociety.org. Okay. Okay. Um, we've got some more information there. And, um, can you believe I held it yeah. this long? Yeah, Am I doing it. okay? You did great. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. We'll put up some of that information for you at kob.com. Uh,